Welcome back, all of my chonky soldiers and generals. Do you guys listen to Spotify? I don't. I have it, but I don't listen to it. Now, today, we'll be actually working on the build of my redesign of the simply flawed Star Destroyer. It's not super flawed or anything. It's actually a really cool ship, and I love it. However, there are some key things in that ship that I would change to make better. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the video from yesterday. It's a very cool video. I'll uh, have it right here. Go check it out. Very popular among all of my fans. And after you've checked that out, come back to this video, enjoy it with me, and yes, together we shall enjoy building this creation. We're comfy, we've got our coffee, we've got, as you can see, right here, nice, in the morning. It is three in the morning. As we all know, perfect time to play Space Engineers. All right, so here we are in Space Engineers. Now, like I said in my previous video, I didn't draw out the top down of the of my version of the Star Destroyer because honestly, from the top down, it's gonna look vaguely the same. The only thing that's gonna have changed is there's going to be a clear distinction of a center column and you may see divots inwards on the side where the new hangar bays are. But as a reference, we're just gonna do the outline of the outer triangle of the entire ship. So in this episode, I don't know how much time I'm gonna spend on it right now, just for the recording sakes, but I think I'm mostly gonna focus on the framework of the starship. Now it's gonna be very big, very big. Biggest ship I've ever actually created in uh, Space Engineers. So I'm excited and I hope you enjoy this.
Well, this is what we've got so far. As you can see, I've finished my coffee. This is a good sign that I've been working pretty hard on this. And uh, I just want to stop here because uh, one, it's been like two hours of uh, just doing this um, and fiddling with it to see what works best. But I just want to explain my uh, thought process behind um, these large plates and uh, the kind of angle that I went with. I'm gonna place. Oh God, I was gonna place those over there so it's not blocking the sun. So as you can see, I built like a column structure all the way down on both the top and bottom. I will probably extend this middle column out like this one. Um, if you notice on the Star Destroyer, it has this kind of raised and flared out area. Um, it's on the actual Star Destroyer, it's at the same angle as well, the rest of the ship. But unfortunately, this angle is just way too steep to make this angle coming from uh, the border of the Star Destroyer all the way in. So what I'm going to do is actually just take uh, large pieces, put them on hinges, and have them angled. Now I know, I know the scary clang physics of space engineers, and this is very, very uh, scary to some people, and I understand. But my thought behind this is that I'm going to have three hinges all together all locked up super strong there's no way that it's going to be like jostling tossing and turning i'm going to have welders on each of these columns to really make sure that in battle if it gets shot at they're protected to a degree that you know they're going to last so if a ship does target um here on these hinges at least you know, it's got some welders to uh, repair it, as well as have some decoys along the ship. Also, each kind of mounting point will be in the middle, that way that each of these uh, structures will be protected in the central area of the Star Destroyer. Another thing that I'm thinking of is near the ends or the outside, or even just near here, I'm gonna have landing gear to actually just hold and lock the plates in place so that they don't move. And if they do end up breaking the hinges, I still have the landing gear to kind of just hold those uh, plates in place. And yeah, I think it's pretty obvious why I'm doing this. You can only really get that nice clean angle if you do that with your plates. And in the sense that if you put a plate on a hinge, you can actually control the degree rather than just having either a 45 degree or uh, whatever degree this slope is, you can make it a, a one degree slope, uh, which is basically what the Star Destroyer is, is it's kind of like a five, 10 degree angle sloped all the way down. And I think putting it on a hinge will allow me to have the best result. This is not a unfamiliar concept to me. I've played around with hinges and making sloped armor before. And uh, Mr. Pickles actually has made his own variations of Star Destroyers in the past, and he's used this idea, and it works relatively well. We've even battled, and you know, they stay together pretty well. Another thing I have is this uh, separately colored rim all the way around, and it is a little bumpy, but what I think I'm gonna do is actually make it even more uh, uneven and bumpy and, you know, uh, have random blocks kind of sticking out, maybe some sensors and stuff all the way down. Because if you actually look at the Star Destroyer, it has all these amazing, which really make a Star Destroyer look as cool as it does, these little greeblies, and you just kind of let your imagination run wild on what they could be. So like antennas, little vents, maybe um, uh, sensors, comma rays, all of that, viewing ports, all of the good stuff. And as you can see on the command bridge, I've got the basic idea of what I would like the command bridge to look like. Uh, you may say it's very basic, very flat, and uh, someone mentioned this in the comments, and it's exactly what I was thinking. Um, it's kind of like a resurgence class command bridge in the sense that it's tucked down, it's flattened out, and but we're still going to have the shield generators on here. And what I am planning to do, it's gonna be very awesome. I'm really excited to continue to build this, but we're probably gonna have tunnels coming out here and then covered on the top. And then it's an actual shield generator room that you can walk around and operate on this shield generator specifically. So you don't have to get out of the ship, the shield generators will be accessible and you can totally repair your shield generators without having to like worry about being attacked or anything. 
I'll keep that this color. It doesn't really matter. I'll change it later. But yeah, I'm actually super excited to uh, finish this build. This, it, this is a really good uh, series for me because now I actually have somewhat of an idea of what I'm going to be doing uh, each episode of Space Engineers. And I'm going to have so much fun doing it. You know, uh, I can work on specific parts in each episode. And uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy and, uh, you know, leave me feedback. Let me know what you think I should do or add to the Star Destroyer. And I will definitely consider it. And if I don't add it, don't be mad. Uh, don't take it personally. I just, you know, I like my ideas. But I'm loving the way it looks. Like, it still has that menacing Star Destroyer feel. It's still the SD1 and SD2. All of the SDs. But it has that tucked feel. Like, that nice, you know, you know it's going to be protected. And it's going to be mirrored onto the bottom, uh, essentially. It's going to have uh, guns mounted all the way along this column. Not on every little mount port, but uh, a lot of them. And this thing is going to be armed to the teeth. Just for a size comparison, uh, I redesigned my Basilisk again. So uh, don't be mad, but you know I'm always striving to make the best basilisk for my my favorite faction the tandari faction and this is their mainline frigate you can really see the size difference maybe i'll do a showcase on this uh new basilisk design that i've made it's just a little more sleek got the engines a little more tucked in and tucked away also there's actually no viewing ports because i feel you know the the tandari faction they're very robust they're uh, a faction that you know heavily focuses on the war aspect of their ships no aesthetics it doesn't really need to look great on the interior um but this isn't about my basilisk just just an idea of like a, a size comparison but yeah so uh you can tell that the way i class my ships a uh, battleship which is what this star destroyer is is basically it's honestly like three of my frigates long three two and a half frigates long and a cruiser is in between the frigate and the battleship. So in my opinion, I feel like these sizes make sense. Again, I can make a video about it in the future. But yeah, so uh, stay tuned for the next episode. In the next episode, we will be adding the plates to the ship, as well as uh, flushing out the exterior, making it look a little more uh, flush, figuring out exactly where the gun mounts are gonna go. And then we will design the interior, the how everything's gonna be hooked up, how we'll have a whole separate episode for designing our own guns and cannons for the Star Destroyer, specifically the Octuple Barbette Turbo Lasers. And I know there is a mod, and it's a really cool mod, but I think I'd feel a little more comfortable building my own because I get to play around with the scripts, some of those awesome AI turret scripts. I've never actually used the AI turret script, and I'm very excited to test that out. So yeah, I hope you're as excited as me. But that's all I have for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy, please consider leaving a like. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Become one with the Chalker Army. You will become more powerful than any soldier in the galaxy. If you guys want that Discord server, tell your friends about this channel. Let them subscribe. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, boys, we get in that Discord server and it's going to be fucking awesome. We're going to play games all the time. All the time. I might not be on all the time, but we will. it's going to be a big community. Bigger than PewDiePie. Uh, probably not because half of you are probably already a part of the bro army. But we all know the Chonk army is where it's at. Am I right? Am I right? Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay healthy, stay lovely, stay strong. Most importantly, stay chalk. Your Lord Chalkers out.